What will it be? Has it gone through your mind being reuniting with Arthur Smith and being back in this offense? What will that mean for you and your game, Mr. Smith? Yeah, that's only about the millionth time I've been asked that today. No, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, but uh, like, like, I, like I answered it all, man. Me and Art uh, got a great relationship. Um, you know, I've been answering these questions all day, and I'll keep answering them, man, because – um, you know, that, that guy means so much to me and, and, and what he's, um, you know, done and, 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 you know, helped me get to in my career. Um, you know, just a, a wonderful, wonderful uh, human being, man. And, uh, you know, it's an honor to be playing with him, man. Um, you know, Art um, believed in me for, you know, all of my NFL career, man. And I'm sure if he had met me before that, he believed in me then. Um you know, so it's a blessing to be able to be reunited with him, um, a guy that I know will take advantage of my abilities and talents and, um, you know, you know, help this team get to where we, where we need to go. So I'm just grateful to be a part of this process. And what was uh, what's your perception of the Falcons and, um, you know, the tight end Kyle Pitts and some of the other tight ends that are in the group here in Atlanta? Yeah, man, it's a, a room I'm glad to be a part of, man. Seriously, it's a. A, a, a room, a, a lot of talent, um, you know, a lot of different skill sets. Um, and I think, you know, by me bringing my skill set to that room, um, you know, I can add that much more, um, you know, a versatility. So um, it's, it's, it's a, a great opportunity for us all, man, to be able to, to, to play off each other, um, to learn from one another. Um, you know, I, I know Kyle, I know Parker. Um, you know, I know some of those guys that's in that room, man. So it'll be easy transition for me. Um, those are great guys. We got, you know, really good relationships. And, um, you know, I'm just excited about it. Thank Michael you. Rostin? Yeah, hey, hey Johnny. Uh, welcome. So oh. when did you find out and, and kind of take me through how you found out you were getting moved? Um, Just got a call from my agent, man. You know, kind of like a bunch of us do. I'm glad I didn't find out over Twitter. Um, <laughs> like a lot of guys do, uh, but no, it was, it was very professional, man. And, um, you know, from both sides, you know, uh, kudos to new England and how they handled everything. I appreciate the time, um, that I had there and everything that they've done for me. And, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just glad that, you know, this opportunity has, has risen for me and I'm, you know, so, you know, more than ready to embark upon this journey, um, with my new club. I'm um, excited to meet some of the guys I've been kind of trying to get those some of those relationships going now. That's what's most important. Um, so, like I said, man, just got a call from my agent. And, uh, you know, when he told me, you know, what team, you know, wanted to trade for me, you know, I was like, you know, let's make it happen, man. I, you know, I felt that it was a, a great opportunity for, for not only for, for me and my career, but for my family, you know, just a fresh start. Um, you know, I got a wife and four beautiful children. So, um, you know, it's, it's uh, just uh, add another house to the list. and. Um, you know, let's, let's, let's see what memories we can create here. And uh, you alluded to obviously reuniting with Arthur before what, how, with how he used you in Tennessee, what, what stood out to you the most of how that worked that may translate here? Um, you know, Art, Art knows, uh, you know, my abilities and, um, what I'm able to do with the ball in my hands and, you know, whatever ways, you know, he feels is, is best in getting me the ball, man, I, I just try to capitalize off of that. Um, <clears throat> we've had success in the past, and I, and I feel that we really didn't even scratch the surface of what we could really do. Um, you know, but this, you know, honestly, you know, with all due respect, this isn't about me and Art. This is about the entire um, Atlanta Falcons. Um, you know, it's going to take all of us, everyone in this building. I know I've been hearing, hearing you know, me and Art all day today, and, um, you know, I understand, I get it, you know, it's, you know, such a reuniting, but, um, you know, Art knows and, and I both know this isn't about me and him. Um, you know, it's just we're part of the puzzle and, um, you know, we just want to put ourselves in the right position so that we can complete this puzzle and go to where we need to go. Josh Kendall. Oh, Josh, you're muted. John, I know we we're a little technically. Uh, Technologically illiterate around here. Forgive us. Oh. Welcome to Atlanta. <laughs> um, yes, you mentioned your skill set. Could you describe it for for me or for us? Who? Just, how would you describe the way you play and and what your strengths are? 
Yeah, um, I always part of myself on, on, on the run after the catchability, um, uh, being able to be dynamic with the ball in my hands, um, becoming a running back with the ball in my hands. Um, you know, that's kind of what I hung my hat on in my career. Um, you know, some may consider me uh, undersized tight end. I may have not seen me with my shirt off. That's the problem. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure I look better than every tight end in the league with my shirt off. But uh, <laughs> um, you look better than everybody on this call. I can promise you that. <laughs> oh man, oh nah, but uh, just uh, you know, like I said, just just bringing that that that, that you know that dynamic playmaking ability to 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 this team, to this organization, and um, you know, being able to stretch the field, um, using my speed and athleticism um, to create mismatches. Um, you know, and if I gotta, you know, put my face in there. Um, you know, against a, a DNS, uh, you know, 30, 40 pounds heavier than me, I'm more than willing. Um, you know, I believe that, um, you know, you're not just a, a valuable uh, player in this game by what you can do with the ball in your hands or what you can do off the ball as well. Um, you know, blocking, in line blocking, downfield, um, whatever it be, whatever phase it is, um, you know, I just believe I can impact the game in those ways. As a guy who's got some experience in the league, what do you think you can – pass along to Kyle or help Kyle with, if anything, as, as, as he sort of takes that step from year two to year three? Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, Kyle's had a lot of success his first year. Um, you know, I know he, he uh, battled some injuries uh, last year. Um, so w- when I get in the room, man, I'm sure it'll be a ton of things that, um, you know, nuggets that, you know, I could provide him. I'm in year seven. I believe he, he's going into year three. Um, so it'll be some nuggets that I can provide him. Um, you know, he, he's a, 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 an amazing talent. Like, like I, you know, talked about one of those guys in the tight end room, you know, I was, you know, kind of, um, you know, he was, he was one of those guys, of course. And, um, you know, R is going to, you know, use his abilities, um, to the, to the max. So, um, whatever I could do, man, to, to, to be a, a, a teacher for him and shoot, man, I, I was never a guy that said only older guys could, you know, to teach me something. I think you're a fool if you think that way. Um, you know, some of the greatest, um, you know, smartest people in the world have, have learned lessons from, you know, guys younger than them. So whatever, um, you know, we can provide each other, man, it'd be extremely helpful. And for everybody in that room. Thanks, John. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Likewise. Zach Klein. I think Kyle's going to be flexing that 4% body fat. So you guys might have some uh, trash talking in that yeah, room. But he got he to gotta add muscle to that. It can't <laughs> just be all, it just can't be, you know. I you get my, hey, uh, <laughs> You know, um, I know uh, Dez, your new quarterback, isn't a rookie, uh, but obviously just a few games under his helmet. When you went to uh, New England with Mac in that rookie situation as a quarterback, do you take more reps with those guys, uh, or is it just your basic process in trying to get to know the quarterback well, get on that same page, whether it's a new team, new quarterback, et cetera? You said, have I, have I taken reps with Desmond? Is that what no, I, I, I'm, I'm comparing. I know he's not a rookie like when you went okay. in New England with Mac, but he's in oh, experience right. in terms of just developing that connection. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, that's what the offseason is for, man. And uh, that's why, you know, that's why I'm here and I'll, I'll be I'll be around. You know, Atlanta's my new home, uh, basically. Um, you know, and I'll be trying to, you know, get get on the same page with Desmond and, and, and you know, some of the other guys as, as much as I can um, while I'm here. So uh, it'll be a great, man. I think, uh, you know, you start building a foundation um, in the offseason. I think that's where the success uh, really comes in that uh, throughout the season, man. So I've uh, been, been in contact with Desmond and, uh, you know, just looking forward to working with those guys, man. And this – this team finally got out of, out of cap hell, made some moves. Many people think of them as a team on the rise. To be wanted in a trade, uh, do you feel that sense of this team is, is you know, ready to make a run, uh, poised to do some damage? Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, you know, I, I walked in this building, to go back to your, your first statement, you know, to, to feel wanted, like I walked in this building, man, and I immediately felt at home the way I was embraced. Um, you know, just the chemistry that just clicked automatically for people I've met today. Um, and, you know, it's, that's always a good feeling to have, man. Um, so I'm excited about where I'm at. And, um, you know, just from watching this team, and uh, you know, being, you know, knowing who Art is and just knowing the people that he surrounded and built this team off of, man, I, you know, the sky's the limit for us, man. And like, again, I just said, I'm, I'm excited to be uh, a Falcon, you know. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have any follow-ups?
Yes. Um, John, what's the Miracle Academy that what, what you were in there today? <laughs> it's like share um, with us. <laughs> Miracle Academy, man, it's a this a clothing brand. Um uh Don, it's it's a clothing brand uh inspired from a designer named Donnie Donnie Namius. And uh he uh is based out of California. And uh, this is kind of just his brand, man. It's been kind of, you know, a popular luxury street urban brand that's kind of been on the rise. So shout out to him. I actually had a chance to meet him when I was in Boston. Really good guy. And, uh, you know, I got a few of his pieces, man. And this is one of them. It's one of my favorite hats in my closet, man. So uh, and, and not only that, man, it, it speaks, you know, it, it speaks to me. You know what I mean? I'm a guy who overcame a lot and. Uh, you know, a lot of miraculous things have happened in my life. So I definitely feel like I'm a part of the Miracle Academy. Thank you. Yes, sir. Michael, you have anything else? I do. So I, maybe I heard this wrong when you were talking about coming to Atlanta, that you just need to buy another house. Do you have <laughs> houses in every place now? Like, is it <laughs> general Airbnb? Probably, what are we talking about here? What are you talking are you, about? Nah, man, I got it. I'm a little, uh, I'm, I'm a little, uh, Low, low key real estate mogul, you know. I'm trying to get on my, uh, you know, trying to trying to make some moves outside of football. But nah, I'm uh, definitely, uh, you know, I got you know places and properties I, I rent out or whatnot. But uh, you know, Atlanta is it's a great place for that, man. And you know, uh, you know, I got to sell some houses now because I'm moving. And you know, I it was it's, I mean, I really enjoyed the experience, man, of, you know, coming to a new city and, you know, like I said, building new memories with my family. I think Georgia is an amazing, uh, amazing state. Atlanta is a great city. Uh, you know what I mean? And, you know, all of, out, out the surrounding, you know, neighborhoods in, in Atlanta, man. So I'm just looking forward to it. And, um, you know, it's a great start for us. How many, how many, so how many homes do you have since you said you're a mini real estate? Mobile? What are we looking at here? <laughs> Because they're, they're, you're not the only one in this locker room. That's why I ask. Nah. Um, um, I got to get to know you a little bit more before I tell you that, bro. Fair enough. That's I got to get to know you a little bit more before I tell you that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it, Johnny, man. All right, man. All right, man. Josh, do you have, you have anything else? I'm good. Thank you, guys. Zach? And I look forward to getting to know you as well and just uh, talking about the adversity you've overcome. It, without getting too deep on this first call, is there a story you just want to share to the audience out there? As I know you came from a big family and kind of raising your brothers and sisters. Is that what you're talking about? Just grinding from the jump? Yeah. Um, you know, just a, you know, just a quick you know, rundown. I don't want to make this thing, uh, you know, too too long. You know, I've, it's a lot of stories out there about it. But just growing up in Philadelphia in the inner city, um, you know, I was, uh, you know, grew up around a lot of, you know, what you know, we know what comes with the inner city, especially Philly. Um, there's a lot of crime and violence and negative influences around me. A lot of my peers, a lot of my friends, closest friends, lost their lives um, at a young, at such a young age. Um, you know, or, or fell victim to um, the, the negativity that was in our, you know, in our area, and you know, now, you know, in prison. You know what I mean? When they can be a free man. Um, you know, but I had an opportunity. And, you know, that anybody that was, you know, would look from outside and, and see me in that environment, and, you know, they would just say, oh, well, he's the same one. You know what I mean? It's no different to him. So um, to be able to, to, to be the one to, to make it out and um, to, to be a shining light for my community, um, to me, that's a miracle. Um, and, and not only making it out, but going back and, and giving back. And, um, you know, that's why I started my new family foundation to make sure to, to, to be able to touch those um, you know, those at, at risk youth in my community. So, um, that's all the great things going on in my life right now, man. I'm just uh, very grateful for, to be in a position that I'm in. I appreciate you sharing that. And uh, I think I speak for everybody. We look forward to getting to know you and the Falcons. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. I'm glad to be here. Looking forward to getting to know all you guys.